Let's talk about CiteSig. CiteSig is cellular indexing of transcriptomes and epitopes by sequencing. It's a high throughput single cell sequencing technique that combines the measurement of both gene expression and the protein abundance at the single cell level. It enables the simultaneous profiling of transcriptomes like gene expression and the cell surface protein markers in individual cells. So in CiteSeq, cells are labeled with oligonucleotide tag antibodies specific to cell surface proteins. These oligonucleotide tags serve as barcodes, allowing the identification of both the protein markers and the corresponding transcriptome of each cell. The cells are then processed for single cell RNA sequencing, where the mRNA transcripts are captured, reverse transcribed, and amplified. By integrating protein and gene expression data, CiteSeq can provide a comprehensive and multi-parametric view of cellular heterogeneity. It allows researchers to identify different cell types, characterize cell states, and investigate the relationship between gene expression and the protein markers within individual cells. So, CiteSeq has various applications in areas such as immunology, cancer research, and neuroscience. It can help in understanding complex biological process, identifying cell types involved in diseases, discovering novel biomarkers, and studying the immune response at a single cell resolution. So, how to perform a CiteSeq? The first step would be cell preparation. It includes isolating the cells of interest, preparing a single cell suspension, counting and adjusting the cell concentration for downstream applications. Then, antibody labeling. Select antibodies specific to the cell surface proteins of interest. Conjugate these antibodies with oligonucleotide tags or barcodes. These oligonucleotide tags serve as the barcodes for subsequent transcriptome identification. And validate the antibody labeling efficiency and specificity as well. Then, cell staining and antibody incubation. Incubate the single cell suspension with the antibody mixture containing both the labeled antibodies and any other desired antibodies for protein profiling. Then cell fixation and the permeabilization to preserve their state and the protein expression patterns. Then single cell RNA sequencing. Perform single cell RNA sequencing using different single cell methods. The last step would be data analysis. Analyze the single cell RNA seq and the protein data together to obtain integrated insights. Visualize and interpret the results using bioinformatics tools and a software package.